we can go ahead and take this table out. So we'll undo the ratchet strap. And you go ahead and pull it all the way out. And you can unhook it. We've got three points of attachment. Two are down here on the floor. So this table can be swung around and into position. Now you might be thinking that this table looks a little bit low, and of course it is, uh, but this table is powered. So you unplug it right here. You go ahead and hook it into the plug. And then now it is able to go up and down. So we can simply raise it up. And now it can be pushed inside the scanner. So down here at the wheels, we have two functionalities here. In the red, we have the wheel brake. And this is locking the entire unit in place. And if you were to hit just the green, that's a steer lock. That's gonna make sure this wheel can't pivot anymore. So you always have a straight in and out path of the table. All right, so once the table's in place, we're ready to go ahead and use the scanner. Now I have not unlocked it yet, but it could be unlocked as soon as you get on scene. So I'll come around to the other side and show you as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and take these T-pins out. Uh, now remember these pins are just keeping the scanner in place so it's nice and secure while we're traveling down the road. There's two pins on each side. Uh, these are very high strength stainless pins. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is press this blue button and pull the pin out. And I'll put it in this holding slot right there. I'll do the same thing to the pin on the other side. I'll depress the blue button, pull it out, and hold it over here. This will help make sure these don't get tangled under the machine. Now the scanner is completely free and able to move. There's one control panel on each side that we can use to move the scanner. I've got a choice of slow and fast. So using this, I can go ahead and move this scanner. This is the fast speed, of course. And this is going to travel all the way to the end and I can slow it down as well and go a much slower pace. This can also travel all the way back to the wall. And this is the stroke where it's doing its actual scan. It's on the way back toward the wall. All right. So a lot of the operation can happen from here um, and, a, and a lot more fine tuning can happen here on the control panel. Once we're done with the scan and we wanna go ahead and put the scanner back into place. Now what you'll notice over here at the very end of the foot plate or the lock plate is some arrows right here that need to align before you're able to lock this scanner into place. So you'll notice they're about a couple inches off right now so I'm going to go ahead and slowly move this over until those line up. And that should be about right for putting those pins back in place. And I'll do the same on the other side. That way this is secured again, ready to go back down the road. This is not necessary to do between scans and between patients. It's only when you're ready to start traveling down the road with this.